So, uh, Luke Spencer of Rocked is back to help us out tonight. And this is entirely my fault. Um, because we're on Tuesday, not that Luke is here. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> last week, Tara and she's still dealing with stuff with Dan, and Dan's obviously dealing with, with illness. Um, and she told me, I'm not going to be on next week. You should probably get someone to fill in for me because I've got this to take care of. Yeah. And I said, I'll do that. And then I didn't do that. Oh. Uh, because your requests, if you need assistance, usually are pretty um, accommodating and not extremely last minute. So sometimes it happens, though. I mean, you have a good... <laughs> You have like a 99.9 .9 percentile track record of doing very good with that, so I wouldn't mind it. And essentially, this is also an extreme circumstance. When I got your message, I was literally walking onto a plane. So. Yeah, I, I was like, oops. <laughs> Someone help me, but we couldn't do it. But you're here tonight. I appreciate it. Even though it is still a little bit last minute, you, you, you're hopped on. I do appreciate it. Whole no, bunch. not a problem. Not a problem. All right. Well, you, you're not. Well, it is going to be a problem when you start seeing what we got tonight. Um, it's it's terrible. I like to. I had a nice little weekend, a little vacation weekend to get to get away with my girlfriend. We had to go to a formal party for her family. Um, old timey formal. Gretchen and I were the youngest there by a long shot. It was for her parents and grandparents were throwing a party. Oh, it was intense. But it, w it was a nice getaway. I'll say that. And now you're rushing me back to the real world. Instantly. Old so. timey. Uh, oh, you cut out. Luke. Oh, there oh you sorry. Go. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, by that, I mean a four hour dinner. Where everyone was seated, not allowed to get up. And everyone over 100 people were introduced. One by one. See, I thought you meant like, you know, people with bicycles with a giant wheel in the front and like stovetop hats and shit. like over half of the pipe. Not stop. Over half of the participants were alive when that happened. <laughs> Gretchen and I stood out like sore thumbs. We had a good time, but yes, this but we were there to support family. And yes. And so. you know. Like Dom says, family is everything. Not that yeah. Dom, different Dom. Not that Dom's my family, but yeah. All right. Let's get the bits. It, it is, it's, there are some special things this week. And surprisingly little uh, fireworks, though I, I expect both stories will come in next week. When the hospital finally reports on the many of them. By the way, were you getting the July 1st and July 2nd fireworks? Because I yes. was getting those two. Yeah, it's getting it's getting to the point of beyond control. Come on, guys. July yes. 1st. Really? Really? I've, I've got five hundred dollars worth of fireworks. And I don't know what fucking day it is. <laughs> I just can't wait three more days, guys. I just can't. Ugh. All right. Here we go. Let's get it going. Uh, come on. Comp oh, fucking there. OK. All right. Each week. Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back to us. We like to call, what the fuck is wrong with you? Our first one is, um, uh, I'm going to send it to you over on Twitter. And, uh, okay. uh, well, there's no poop. Um, that's a change, but only because dude didn't get that far. Oh, he probably pooped a lot later. Austrian gets shock of his life Ugh. as Python bites him on the toilet. Oh, Austrian. Python. Fucking yes, Python. Austrian man. And the kind of morning that nightmares are made of Monday. When a Python slid through his drains and bit him while he was sitting on the toilet. The stunned 65 year old. Turn around shortly after 6 a.m. to see a roughly five foot albino reticulated python in the bowl. Five foot. 
It's like, what did I eat last night? <laughs> oh, I'd move. Don't you dare think I'm staying in that house ever again. Screw, go screw yourself, homeowner association. I'm gone. Shortly after he sat on the toilet, toilet the uh, <laughs> Graz resident, by his own account, felt a oh. pinch in the area of his genitals. <laughs> if all he felt was a pinch. Oh. The 24-year-old neighbor who owns 11 snakes, all non-venomous constrictors, has been reported to the prosecutor's office in suspicion of negligently causing bodily harm. So it, it got loose and got into the pipes and came up to the toilet. That is, there are horror movies about this shit. There are. And of all the timing for that snake to finally come out was while a man was sitting on the toilet. Like People are like, oh, that doesn't really happen. That's just, that's just the movies. Uh, well, it's not. No, no, this, this is not the first time something like this has happened either. This has happened in other places. I don't know about five feet, though. Ugh. What, what do you do then, too? Ugh. What do you do? After, after, after you pull up your pants and run away. I, it's just sadness. Ugh. Your entire ah. worldview is shaken. You'd be bathroom shy for the rest of your life. Yeah, you're never you're, gonna sit on the toilet no. without looking first. Well, like I said, I was off to a good start. We don't have a, a fireworks story yet. But we do have a 4th of July story. This came in really damn quick. Um, th there's been like, I've been watching uh, social media, especially about the whole fireworks or no fireworks. And this, this, my freedom! Oh, yeah. All right. It is Independence Day. That doesn't mean you're allowed to do anything you want. Right. It's not the purge. It's 4th of July. And you're not allowed to just randomly join parades on tractors. Yeah. yeah. This I could actually see. Uh, woman was arrested Saturday after she drove her tractor into the walk Rockwall 4th of July parade when she was told not to because she created a disturbance in the staging area. Uh, video was sent by parade spectators shows police in vehicles and on foot chasing the tractor. <laughs> Lori Bostick, 61, faces charges of evading arrest, interference with the processional, disorderly conduct, and criminal mischief. Police said officers attempted to stop Bostick due to the dangerous way she was operating her tractor because of her refusal to obey the orders of an officer. Ultimately, officers forced her to drive off the road into a fence, taken into custody, and transported to the county jail i'm watching the little video clip they have of like mm. stills of everything yeah she's on that tractor proud like she's yelling at that cop hold like, on make me get off of here is you're you're not my supervisor yeah it's, it's, the woman was her oh. cry you're not my supervisor no um oh uh, the mug shot too uh, that's yeah oh, she man. well she hit a fence yeah <laughs> She's not look happy about this. I'm I'm on mute right now, but like I see it on mute, like the cops just like jogging after and uh it's this there was no float. No. It was it was just her on her tractor. It's like a yeah, off brand John Deere just demanded to be part of the parade. That's it. You don't get to do that. It, did she say did, she didn't give a reason why? Like she didn't say why she wanted to do it? No, or, she just showed or up as any like legitimate reason or I always wanted nope. to be in a parade since I was a little girl. Nope. It is it is my right to do whatever the fuck I want. I'm in the parade. Shut up, America tractor. You, there has to be an easier way to get into one of those parades. Help. Volunteer to help be part of it and do something like there has to be some other reason. Like 61, why she wants 61, 61 years old. Too. Ugh. I mean, I'm glad everyone's okay. I mean, she could have done serious damage. I I don't know if alcohol was involved. Probably, but I don't know. Just I, mean, uh, I got the picture I had of her on the on the tractor, like Lee Greenwood in the back. I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> Born in the USA. I was. Oh. I, again, just her trying to tell off that cop, make me get off this train. Well, tractor. they they uh, they, they, they did. did. Oh. Why? <laughs> why? Why? There has to be a reason why. Have yeah. you ever been to a 4th of July parade, by the way? Yes. It's sweltering hot. Yes. You're there for hours. 
And and some of the parades aren't even that fun. Yes. Uh, like I, I I went the highlight for me was when I was a child and you'd go and sometimes the floats would throw candy. Except okay. it's very hot. And they're on asphalt and they'd throw the candy out <laughs> and it would land on the asphalt. Oh, yeah. And it was like by the time you get to it, it was a pool of sugar goo. Yeah. It, it was like that, it was like taunting us. It was horrible. Uh, All right. Well, Mm. What? Are we talking about parades? Yes. I was also terrified of clowns, and there were always clowns in parades that wanted to, like, personally present me with candy. I would hide behind my parents. Oh, you wouldn't take candy from a clown? I, I just You like wouldn't? Okay. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Well, <laughs> I said there were, there were no fireworks stories. Okay. And I guess technically there weren't. Um, okay. Now, I, I kind of understand where this guy comes from, because I'm about fucking fed up with fireworks. Too. Fuck. I'm a pet owner. That is, that that complete... I, already, I was kind of annoyed with them, but once you get a pet, that changes your perspective on them entirely. Right. However, I haven't quite lost it this badly. Firecracker! Man wakes his neighbors by pretending to be firework. <laughs> a man apparently protesting pyrotechnics was caught screaming and pretending to be a firework on a Florida security system in the early morning hours. Residents of Cape Coral neighborhood got an early July 4th show when an unidentified man who appeared to be protesting pyrotechnics started screaming just before 3 a.m. You could do the quote. You got to do the quote, too. Boom, 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 firecracker. The man yelled in the dark. <laughs> I want that catchphrase for every Florida man now. Boom, 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 firecracker. Despite Warnick's objective, the man continued screaming, calling fireworks annoying, and angrily yelling to quit using them in the middle of the night. Okay, uh, so... This was not a good plan. No. Because I... I oh yeah, even better. Neighbors say they didn't hear any fireworks the night of the incident. But he, okay, he just yeah, he's preempting the shit. Apparently, I, I have never met someone that took Katy Perry songs so seriously <laughs> that he would actually act on that and make that his personality. I I just uh, <laughs> makes you wonder what's going to go on in the next few days until the Fourth of July. <laughs> like I am so fucking angry at the fireworks. We get them yeah. so damn often here in South Carolina. I, I it sucks. They, they're they're more loud than anything else. Yeah. But <laughs> I am not going to to wait and strategically wait until the dead of night where there's no sound and go outside and be like, see how you fucking like it. Boom, boom, boom! I'm a firecracker. See about them setting off the fireworks. Normally, by the time the cops arrive, you can't, you don't know who the fuck did it because right, they, exactly. they they're gone. Yeah, but me out there screaming my head off. <laughs> see the difference? We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna see exactly who was doing that right away. It's it's not. <sighs> uh, what what was the end game though? I mean, what was he like? Was this his defiance? I showed them. What well, what is he what what does he get out of this? Vengeance really? is mine, saith the the jackass. Um Yeah. Master Corporal Phil Mullen with the police department f pretending to be a firework is also going to run afoul of our noise ordinances. Pre I, even as a little kid, I never pretended to be a firework. I don't no. I don't get the uh Well no, I was telling people earlier about when I was a kid, we were incredibly stupid. I'm amazed we survived. Uh, you ever have a Roman candle fight? No. Um, we. I remember being as a kid, we would aim them, like try to aim them low and stuff. We never tried to hit each other with Roman candles as a new sport. No. Yeah, this is, if, especially for folks who are not in America or who, don't have, who haven't dealt with them before, a Roman candle is a stick that shoots mm -hmm. flaming balls. Yes. That explode. And a Roman candle fight is when a bunch of kids, normally 12 or under, get a bunch of these, and lighters, so they have fire, and they set them off, and they point them at their friends, 
who are also pointing them back at you. Yes. How are we alive? How did you not put an eye out or have severe permanent damage? Also, for people that don't know about Roman Candles, once you light them, you can't stop them from no, shooting after they, the first round. You can't go, okay, that's enough. No, they go until the end, no matter what, committed. even if you put it on the ground. Yes, exactly. Man, oh man. I mean, the, what's the next step after Roman Candle War? Um, oh, those fucking cardboard mortars. Oh, uh, like the big, the ones with the stand? Yeah. The, the, you have to aim. As yeah. long as you're not playing like firecracker volleyball or something, I guess you're okay. But man, oh man, that's asking for trouble. <sighs> well, uh, we, we move on to more airport stuff. Like, uh, have you been on the, you just got back from a flight. We, just did, yes. Have you, have you been on one of those flights where they get delayed and they just sit there? On the runway? And sit there. My max was five hours. And sit there. And you can't do shit. It sucks. I, yeah, you, they won't even let you go to the bathroom because it's a, it's improper now that you're on the runway. You can take off at any time. Well, I understand it's frustrating. However, this is not, this really isn't an option. Faster uses uh, after flight delayed, then cancel. Passenger, passenger use emergency exit of Man. plane on tarmac at Charlotte Airport. Ugh. Which is a hub airport, which is fucking huge. Yes. Um, flight from Charlotte, Charlotte to Baltimore had been delayed for two hours, then canceled. Pastor on a flight out of Charlotte Douglas International Airport was arrested after opening the exit door of the plane while it was on the tarmac, then climbing out of the plane. It was on a uh -huh. flight. Uh, Brandon Goldner was on a flight that captured images of the incident. The flight was headed... From Charlotte to Baltimore, had been delayed two hours, then eventually canceled. Plane then sat on the tarmac for another 45 minutes while waiting for a gate agent. Pastor seemed to be frustrated, tired of waiting, and climbed over other pastors, get the emergency exit. Climbed Quiet. over others. So he wasn't even in that exit row. Nope. Had 172 customers, six crew members aboard. Um, once off the flight, <laughs> Goldner Sars, the pastor's. Uh, uh, Goldner saw as the pastor was let out of the airport in handcuffs. Customers also been placed on airlines, American Airlines internal refuse list pending further yeah. investigation. You, I have a, I have a lot of thoughts on this. Oh man, you don't touch that door. No, that for everyone that's not familiar too. That's not just a single like latch open door that you pop close and all's well. No. Mm -hmm. There's multiple facets to that thing, and you and once it's open, you have to go through all these checks to make sure it's secure again. Mm -hmm. It's it is it is the no fucking around. No. Once that door is open, oh, oh shit! He he opened. It was over the wing. Oh shit! It was over the fucking wing. Uh. So he opened the door over the wing, then clambered Climbed out. down, like off the wing, and then jumped off onto the active runway. Now what? You're out of the plane. If, you're get, if you have a bag, you're not getting that bag back. Also, no. um, other thoughts. Have you ever been to Baltimore? Yes. Okay. I've never met anyone that's wanted to get to Baltimore that fast. <laughs> never. <laughs> Dang. Also... Charlotte to Baltimore, three hours? Three yeah, and a half like, hours? Yeah, yeah, depends, but yeah. Uh, Probably get, faster, actually. But Get, get a rental car! <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? Oh. I just, yeah, they were already saying it was canceled, which meant there was a jet bridge yeah. coming. Yes. This was a pure, this is a fucking tantrum. And now yeah, you're going. Exactly, it, yeah. That's right, Grady. Now you're going to jail. Yeah. Oh, you're never flying with them again. Yeah. You, uh, also, uh, other airlines, that airline will probably flag you on other airlines as well. Yeah. That is how that works. That airport's never going to let you back in again. Because we've just had over a year and a half of the industry trying to come to terms with the pandemic and dealing with yeah. some of the most irate customers yes. ever. Yes. They, ha they, they are done playing. Yeah, American and United and another are canceling flights every day, like hundreds, because they don't have staff to employ the flights, both in airports and on the planes. Yeah. And you, then you have people that are working there getting treated like garbage and dealing with 
this guy who has so in a rush to get to Baltimore that he had to open the emergency door. They have your name. They have your identification. They have all the information about you. If they don't want you, if you piss them off enough, they can decide you don't get to fly anymore. Right. No, that blacklist, you do not get off of either. They, 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 no. There are plenty of people wanting to get on the plane. They don't need you. Nope. Uh, I, I hope it was worth it. I hope now, I hope getting off that plane that fast was worth it. Well, he got a free, uh, he got a free night in jail. Yeah. So, you know, that, which is, yeah. that's, that's actually technically a better comp than you would get for most of the airlines. The fact, yeah, I mean, you know, that was a full flight, 172 customers too. Yeah. Jeez. And uh, they all had to wait. Yep. Because once that door, oh, once that door opens, everyone's sitting down. Yeah, they all had yeah, to they wait. Got, they got to count everybody. Uh, uh Next one is um, I yeah. Sometimes you got to get away from the cops. I understand this. I understand. You know, crime. It's it's a choice. But, uh, you know, maybe you should, if you're going to try and get away from the cops, you should maybe pick the vehicle that does not belong to the news team. Oh. Arrested from Chatham County chase after one steals WRAL news car to escape authorities. You know, if they have remote cameras in there, they could be the eyewitness while the chase. I mean, it's right there. They don't even have to send one of their employees to actually cover it. North Carolina Idiot. State Highway Patrol confirms all four people involved in a high-speed pursuit have been taken to custody. Caleb Sheffield, the last person being sought in the case, was taken into custody Sunday morning. Third man wanting into connection to a high-speed chase in Chatham County on Saturday was also in custody after stealing a WRAL news car and crashing into a state highway uh, patrol car. Um, reporter Keenan Willard said the man, Marcus Brown, came up to him and photographer Lucas Nelson after 11 p.m. and offered cash for a ride to the gas station. So you went up to the news car, which has yeah. on the side of it, WRAL, and you tried to, to pull that, hey, give me a ride. When they said they couldn't, because it's a work car, he right. jumped in the car and drove away. Now, I, uh, it's the 21st century. I don't know how people don't comprehend this, but if the car has a logo of a company on the side of it, the fucker has a GPS built in. Yeah. Because and if you're a news fan, you have way more than a GPS built in. Talk about action news. Ah, the lady Vin yeah. <laughs> Nice. Oh. Breaking Dark Angel of Otaku. Breaking news. We can't bring you the news because someone stole our car. Yeah. This is the news now. This is all we have. I, I, again, I'm glad the the driver of the van, everything like that is okay. Yeah. Like this could have been way worse. But also the fact that he ran into a state trooper. Literally ran into a state trooper. Oh, yeah. No, no, the car. Not the car. Yeah, the, yeah. Not, uh, not, not the trooper himself. That would, We wouldn't be covering if he drove. But no, no he, I know, yeah. A straight trooper's car. Yeah, let me clarify. Although, when you still drive into one of their cars, they 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 don't, they don't take that yeah. personally. You don't get a warning. You, you no. know. 94 miles per hour in a 65 zone. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it too. Uh, All well, three well, are from Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> that explains it. As a former resident for years of <laughs> Jacksonville, Florida, I can confirm that this is something that one of the residents would do. By by and large, when I took Gretchen there the first time to cover a festival, I had to warn her: "You are going to see some things." <laughs> Did she see some things? Yes. Within the first thirty minutes, she saw a man publicly urinating on the front door of an audio car install place. In broad daylight at a busy intersection in downtown Jacksonville, she was panicked, and I said, "I told you." <laughs> that's this, just, that's just a Wednesday. And this it's is fine. Wednesday behavior. I I can't stress enough. As soon as he said Jacksonville, Florida, I believe it. Uh, hey, steal well, something else. Steal anything else. You fucking the only idiot. car within a hundred miles was the news van. Really, I don't think so. 
also really hard to be inconspicuous on the road when you're driving the news van. <sighs> uh, well, in the, the last story this week is just one of the largest fuck ups I have ever fucking seen. Like that's saying something. I even I even I understand the gravity of that. Um, it, well, I mean, it's a fuck up that you evacuated entire goddamn town. One thousand homes. Ah, oh, come on, it's fucking USA today. One thousand homes evacuated after pounds of lithium batteries explode in old Illinois paper mill. Uh, a raging industrial fire in old paper mill in Illinois prompted at least one thousand home evacuations as toxic fumes spewed in the air. For the second day, clouds of smoke filled the air in Morris as 180,000 and 200,000 pounds of lithium batteries continue to explode. The biggest hazard we have is smoke and fumes, as well as the gas from the fire, highly poisonous and very deadly. Fire started about 11.45 a.m. at uh, the old Federal Paper Board building, where batteries ranging in size from cell phones to larger-than-car batteries were located. First of all, why? You're a paper mill, but for some reason, you have a warehouse full of used batteries. What? How did that even get to that point? And it says 200,000 pounds of batteries. Mm -hmm. Why would you store? Why? Okay, I'm still shocked. Too. I'm looking at the, the little video, the black smoke. Yeah. How did no one get hurt in any of this? The 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 um, it's lithium ion and some batteries. They they you can't just throw them away. They have right. to be disposed of. Yes. So it seems like someone was holding on to a bunch of these, you know, st illegally storing the damn things at their fucking paper mill. That's not just. That's how long have they been storing them too? Because one to get to that point and two. That many batteries? It gets worse. They couldn't use water on the fire. Because as they get the wet, electrical, they short out and ignite yeah. and explode. So you have the batteries catching on fire and exploding. And you can't use water on the batteries because then more will catch on fire and explode. Also, it's a paper mill. Highly flammable. Uh, how did it get to that? How did it get to that point? That's what I still don't understand. Regardless of what they were storing for whatever reason, I can't imagine why. Was it like the towns? Thank you for being a service and disposing of our batteries properly. Well, sure, we'll take them. Jim, what do we do with all these batteries? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay. Okay. Uh, You're a paper I, mill. You're, I mean, and, and yeah, no <laughs> one. It's it, it, no injuries have been reported. Yeah. Holy shit. You're I, yeah, fucking I lucky. Yeah, you are. For how long that fire must have burned and seeing the pictures. Ugh. You, you made you made a chemical weapon. Yes. How you is made it? You made it uh, like a inextinguishable firebomb that even firefighters would have trouble putting out. What they're trained to do, they are not allowed to do. Guy was recycling them to resell, says a taco boy. He lives oh. there. Then why haven't you resold them in years if you have that many? Ugh. Paper mill was closed in 1981. Okay, so this was even worse because it's an abandoned building. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I do not know how you just store that many batteries and have no one know about it. Yeah, I agree. How did it get to that point? <laughs> I, that's like, I have fantastic. fucked up in my life, but I have never fucked up and caused a war crime. Yeah. Because goddamn, this is this is some Geneva Convention shit. No, it is. It is. I mean, this could have been completely toxic for everyone in that town. Uh, this is potential damage in the area. The fact that no one got hurt was amazing. But how do you even clean up after that? But how do you the build they said you said the building's too old and stuff anyway, but the fire comes two weeks after an explosion at a chemical plant near Rockton. What is going on in this town? What what the heck? What's going on? Well, they don't call it the Rust Belt for nothing. 
Well, is everyone okay? <laughs> Monday morning, chemical explosion. Tuesday morning, battery fire. <laughs> oh. 200,000 uh, pounds. I, I, I can't even come to grasp. Is that 200 like, tons? Am I doing the math right? I think that's, is that 200 tons or 20 2, tons? 2,000 times um, zero, 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 zero. Yeah. 2,000 tons or 200, 200 tons. tons. 200 yeah. tons of battery. Or 100, ton, or 100 tons, whatever. But how I'm just kind of trying to come to the, the mountain of batteries. And like they're not all just the little rechargeable double A's. Car These batteries. Car yeah. batteries, lawnmower batteries, like probably medical care batteries they have to put on the beds and the carts mm -hmm. and stuff. Everything. How? How do you get it that big in the first place? Of I'm, a just, pile? I'm just imagining that they're going up to the firefighters. You can't use water on it. What are we supposed to use, man? Harsh language? Start spitting. <laughs> Everybody start spitting. Ugh. I know, I, I know they have that um, spray, that like electronic spray that like will put out a fire for all electronic equipment, but that usually has to be put in place before mm -hmm. the fire starts, like in server rooms and stuff. There's no way this b battery paper mill had anything like that. Not a chance, especially to a mountain of batteries. So I guess the, 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 the first thing we learned this week is you might have made some mistakes in your life, but, but you haven't ac accidentally become a super fun site. Yeah. <laughs> Um, just, uh, just goofed up and all of a sudden you, you are like Captain Planet is coming for your ass. Yeah. You are an accidental super villain at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like it, like the fucking actual the fucking Lex Luthor sitting Captain, back going, damn. Yeah, yeah. Lex Luthor. Nice. Tone it down a notch, pal. Okay. <laughs> I, I get it. You want Superman's attention. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Um, we've learned don't don't steal the cars with the logos on them. Um, that's not your best option. The, no, it's not, no, you can run, but you can't outrun the GPS. And then and then if you do have to take that for some stupid reason, watch for state troopers on the road because yeah, uh, the asshole is an eBay store superior batter. <laughs> oh. 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 Um. We've learned that if your plane gets delayed, you're not allowed to use that door. It's no. It, there's no like exception on that. If you've been waiting a really long time, that's not no. You don't get to. There is never a good option when that door opens. Yeah. Nothing good ever happens when that door opens. <laughs> never, ever, ever, never. Um, we've learned that imitating the fireworks is just about as bad as be as the, using the actual fireworks. Katy Perry is not a life coach. Yeah. We've learned just because you want to be in the parade doesn't mean you get to be in the parade. <sighs> Even on the Freedom Day. She tried her bestest. I mean, she really did, but... Uh. And we learned that sometimes snakes will come out of the toilet and bite your junk. That's the only person I feel bad for this whole week. The only one. The only That's one. trauma. Oh, yeah. I said before, you're holding your your bowels for a week straight. You're not going to the bathroom. You will be avoided at all costs. Uh, what happened this week, Dash? This, the, everyone just lowered their IQ roughly 30 points and said, you know what? Whatever. I feel bad for the snake. Yeah. And that the guy in the apartment that had like 10 others. <laughs> uh. I mean, uh, if you're if you're put in a position where your only option to escape is to bite someone in the balls, man, that's rough. I swam through a river of filth and came out clean on the other side. <laughs> I had to fight my way through. Andy the Viper Dufresne. <laughs> oh.